<laughs> Literally losing it right here live on the air uh, due to hunger. Here's some storm totals. Williams, nine inches. Snowball, eight inches. Kachina, Seligman, and Forest Lake at seven. Flagstaff Airport at six inches. Yeah, this was a pretty decent storm that moved through overnight. Most of the snow totals came early this morning. Driving was treacherous on I-40 and I-17. Look at Payson. Prescott three inches, two and a half in Payson, Dewey, Humboldt, and Sholo each at one. Look for that uh, possibly to increase a little bit overnight tonight. Outside right now on your Friday evening, it's 57 degrees. Winds out of the west southwest at nine. Uh, temperatures right now up in the high country. Yeah, it's slick. It's 24 in Flagstaff. Right around the freeze mark, which means, uh, means slick roads up in Sedona and Payson and Prescott and 28 in Sholo. 56 in Casa Grande, still 62 in Yuma. Well, we've got a freeze warning Sunday morning for the extreme south part of the valley. Basically, you folks south of the 202 extension and then hard freeze warning, which means 28 degrees and below for the rest of Pinal County, most of Pima County. Also a hard freeze warning Sunday morning uh, out just to the west of us uh, over there in Yuma and La Paz County. Here's a look at our morning lows. So yeah, right on the freeze mark for Queen Creek and then below freezing in Maricopa. This is tomorrow morning. It's going to be crisp and chilly out there, but it is going to be a sunny day because that low is now pulling off to the east of us. Is there more snow in the forecast? Yeah, over in far northeastern and eastern Arizona, you can pick up maybe just under an inch so snow flurries, so travel will still be a little bit dangerous. But our big headline as we move through the weekend is we've got cold mornings ahead through the weekend and again on Monday, and then we're going to first alert because we think we're going to have at or below freezing temperatures for a vast majority of the valley on Tuesday morning. So we want you to be uh, alert and ready for that situation. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to start to warm up into the mid 60s by Friday. All right.